Hello Salesforce developers and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a common issue that many Apex developers face during unit testing. The dreaded field is not writable error. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to mock read-only fields effectively in your Apex test classes, ensuring smooth and error-free testing. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Simon, and I'm a developer from SmoothStack. Before we jump into the solution, let's understand the problem. You've probably encountered this error message in your Apex test classes when trying to update a field that's marked as read-only, such as the created date field. Salesforce restricts changes to certain fields in certain contexts, and this can be challenging during testing. But fear not, we have a solution. Mocking read-only fields in your test classes offers several benefits. It allows you to thoroughly test your code, including scenarios involving read-only fields. You can simulate different test scenarios and edge cases, and it ensures your code handles read-only fields gracefully even in production. The key to solving this problem is to generate mock data using JSON. This technique will allow you to modify the read-only field without triggering the error. Here's how you can do it. All right, so in order to demonstrate the mock read-only field, we need to come up with a scenario that will require us to test using a read-only field. In order to achieve that, we have created this class called expired case closer. And we're going to use this, use this class to query for cases with the working or escalated status that haven't been modified within the last year. And then we're going to automatically close them. So most of the action happens right here in the close expired cases method where we list the open statuses as cases with either working or escalated status. We use our data accessor to query for the cases that have an open status and that haven't been modified within the last year. And then we use this update expired case fields to set the status of the case to closed and update the description to this case has expired due to inactivity. And then once again, we use our data accessor to update the cases. And this may seem simple enough, but if you were to think about how to test it, you need to make sure that you have a case that has been modified, or rather hasn't been modified in the last year. And if we're creating mock data, then we need to edit that last modified date on the case. Now I am gonna stop here and note that if we were to structure this a little bit differently and take in a date for close expired cases, then we could technically pass in that date as today in our test class and circumvent the scenario. But for now, let's suppose that that isn't an option. We don't want to modify the class as it stands. And instead, we want to focus on mocking that last modified date. Sorry. We want to focus on mocking that last modified date in the test class. So here's how we will approach that. All right, we have the wrong way to do it and we have the right way to do it. For now, I'm gonna comment out the right way to do it so that we can go over that step by step and we can take a look at what happens when we try to do it the wrong way. So, I mentioned before, the main purpose of this exercise is to correct this field is not writable error. And it's telling us that the last modified date on the case is not writable. Salesforce keeps this read only so that it can maintain the field automatically. This is never something that you would need to modify 
in a production environment because Salesforce will handle that for you every time the case gets modified. So instead of directly setting it here, we need an alternative solution. That's where this comes in. I mentioned before that we need to use JSON to generate our mock record. So to make this as streamlined as possible, we start by creating a date time called last modified date and setting it to a date that will work within our test context. So we set it to today, but 500 days in the past from today. And that will certainly serve to be more than a year in the past. Then we need to format the last modified date in a way that the uh, json.deserialize method will understand it. And we do that by using the format GMT method on date time and passing in this string so that it will format it according to this pattern. Then we can go ahead and give it a mock case ID. In the next video, we will go over how this class and this method work to generate a mock ID. But for now, just understand that this gets us a mock ID that follows the ID pattern for cases. And then we set the mock case equal to json.deserialize, passing in the mock case ID, a status, and an origin because these are required fields. Note that we chose the working status here because that's one of the statuses that we filter on. And then we set the last modified date equal to the formatted last modified date. And we cast all of this as a case. And you may have noticed that when I hit save, the class successfully saved. So that's a good sign. And now let's go ahead and run this test class to verify that it does in fact work. Uh-oh, we have a failure. Let's see what's wrong. It's telling us the assertion failed. It was expecting closed, but actually it's working. So let's go ahead and get down into the nitty gritty to figure out why that happened. So first off, we see that we are calling expired case closer dot close expired cases. And we do set the mock cases in the data accessor. And we do set the expired case closer data accessor to the mock data accessor. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test method, uh, or rather our mock data accessor for case. There it is. All right. So we, ah, there's the issue. We're checking in our mock data accessor that it's equal. And in fact, we should verify that it is less than or equal to the last modified date. So let's save our mock data accessor with the correction it's very important that your mock data accessor simulates the query in your actual data accessor as closely as possible in order to get the most robust test as possible. So now that we've fixed that, let's go ahead and rerun our test class. 
and we get a success right off the bat. So hopefully that helps give you a picture of how you can mock a read-only field. The real trick here is we just want to use the json.deserialize method, make sure that everything's formatted correctly, and then we can work around that error. Congratulations! You've learned how to mock read-only fields in your Apex test classes to avoid the field is not writable error. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more Salesforce tips and tricks, and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest content. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Happy coding!